All right, quick video here. I've changed the mic a little bit, put the gains down. Sorry about the last little interview. I will correct those in future interviews. Adoption. Uh, someone asked me, how many, how many kids have you adopted doing it really? Well, let's get it straight. Uh, we wouldn't want to be parents because we enjoy our lifestyle and we've got enough kids out there, all right? We enjoy getting up any time of day we want, going to bed any time we want, doing whatever the fuck we want to do any day of the year. We enjoy that low level of responsibility. The biggest responsibility would probably be Figsy, the rescue greyhound. In terms of, let's say, I want to do adopt, we want to do adopt, legally wouldn't be possible. One, um, I myself have not been in a stable address for over 12 years. I haven't been in the one address for probably longer than two and a half months in 12 fucking years. I don't have a real job. <laughs> According to the fucking people out there, what's your job? I make videos about zits, it's fucking vegan life and sharks and cycling tips. Well, that's not a fucking legit job. Even the fucking tax office is like, this is interesting. Like, what's, like, we don't know what's going on, Harley. We'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. People in LA owe your money. We'll get back to you. So it's all, sort, it's all crazy shit. Uh, what else? Another one. Criminal record. I've got a criminal record. I've been in uh, in prison before. Uh, mental health issues. I do have mental health issues. People are like, no shit, you don't. You know, no shit, you do, bro. You're fucking crazy. And I agree. I am crazy. I am crazy. I definitely certified crazy. I remember in 2003 when I had my bus accident. Uh, part of the insurance thing was they had to do a mental evaluation. And part of their thing was like, well, you're just a fucking crazy cunt, and that's why you're fucking crazy, not because of the bus accident. You just fucked up. And so they gave me all these labels, all these mental health uh, labels, prognosis, diagnosis from the experts. I'm like, oh, cool, man, you guys are experts. I'm crazy, no worries. So be very careful what labels you let people give you and be very careful what identities you let those labels create. Be very careful what identities you choose based on the labels you let people give you or you give yourself. Be very careful because we raise the expectation of our peer group. We raise the expectation of the identity which we identify ourselves with mostly. So if someone says you're crazy or whatever, then be careful. If you want to be crazy, then be crazy. I say be crazy but in a good way. So there are many reasons why we cannot adopt. I cannot adopt. And let's say we could, I wouldn't want to. And that's why I had a vasectomy in 2005 because I don't want kids. I love kids. I love kids so much. I don't think we should be creating any more in 2015. I think we should all fucking sterilize ourselves so we can take care of the 153 million orphans out there. I know it's extreme. I know that 30,000 kids every fucking day die from starvation and lack of water. Oh, but like, you know, but they're in Africa and they're in Asia and they're, they're, not, in, they're not here. Yes, they are here. It's fucking one planet, man. This whole, well, you're not in my country, you're not in my neighborhood, fuck you, whatever. This, that's why we have 5.6 million kids from Syria displaced at the moment. There's 5.6 million homeless kids in Syria. There's bombs dropping every fucking day in Syria. No one gives a fuck about that. Where's the Syrian flag on Google or YouTube or whatever? It's crazy, man. Why the fuck do we have even have flags? Let's just have one fucking planet. That's my opinion. Uh, vasectomies I fucking rate them it's the best ever fuck putting yourself through steroids and sex steroids or the concept of pill which shut down your luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone within 7 days approximately starting them when you're on the contraceptive pill you tweak your pituitary gland you deactivate your HPG axis that's HPG axis stands for hypothalamic pituitary, pituitary gonadal axis it's your hypothalamic system, your pituitary and your gonads, your sex organs, your systems, you, the axis, you shut that down. So you give, put these little hormones in there, these little sex steroids, contraceptive pill, put that into your body and that's tweaking your pituitary gland and that's tweaking that your fucking thyroid. And so no wonder we have so much weight gain issues or metabolic issues because most girls and the teenagers get put on sex steroids. When they're teenagers, their body's not even fully developed yet. And these doctor fucks out there who are prescribing these sex steroids to these kids, they just, karma, karma. That's all I can say about that one. That is just like, it's probably one of the most vile things we do in society is put women, teenage girls especially, on sex steroids. Got some pimples? Have some fucking sex steroids. 
fucking crazy. And that's another reason. I, I think we have enough problems on the planet that we need to address. People say, this is negative. I want some fairy tales and fucking rainbow unicorns. And it's like, well, watch my bike review videos if you want some distraction. But reality is, man, we've got some serious issues on the planet. We don't need any more fucking kids to create. We've got enough fucking awesome kids. We've got enough unloved kids. We've got 5.6 million fucking homeless kids in Syria. Every single night, they're not knowing where the fuck they're going to sleep. Imagine that. Put yourself as a 10-year-old in Syria or in fucking Turkey. They're running across the borders, man. We, we, we run marathons for fucking Strava points. These kids are fucking walking marathons, dehydrated, malnourished, because they're scared of getting fucking AK-47, you know, fucking Scud missiles in their villages and shit. It's fucking crazy. And people are like, well, I, 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 yeah, well, that's the new sin, but I still want to have my own kids because I want to impress my parents. If your parents are so fucking unconscious, they want you to have kids. I want to be a grandma. I want to see what little Johnny and Jane looks like. Yeah. Fuck your parents, man. Fuck them off. They're just like unconscious as fuck. Be in the conscious generation. Sterilize yourself. Go to Thailand if some ra uh, ageist surgeon in the US or Australia Europe won't do it. Go to Asia, man, do it. Just tell them you've already got kids. No one fucking checks. My friend recently in Australia had a vasectomy. He's like 24. He said he had three kids. No one checked. You don't have to check it. Just fucking tell them what they want to hear. Get it done. I told the surgeon when I had my vasectomy. And he's like, he looked at me. He goes, you're too young. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. And I said, well, well, you know, like, I'd like to get it done. It's my body. He goes, well, why? I said, well, I'm gay, but sometimes I fuck chicks, and I'm a heroin addict, and I do a lot of crime. And I don't think I should be breeding. And he's just like, all right, mate, we'll do it for you. Make a big mistake. Signed it. Boom. There you go. No worries, mate. And his level of arrogance was like one of the fucking most high level I've ever met. But he signed the paperwork. Boom. Booked it in. Got my vasectomy. Fucking yes. Freedom. And that gives me more energy to help the kids who are healed already today. So this is not a video like, oh, if you got kids, fuck you. No, no, no. If you already got kids, they're here. You can't fucking hand it back to the warranty. I understand that. But if you haven't had kids yet, or if you've got kids and you're like thinking, well, I don't really need any more. Let's, let's look after these ones better or whatever. Then get yourself, get a vasectomy, guys. Just the best gift you can give you, lady. It's the best gift you can fucking give, man. Get yourself snipped. Enjoy the benefits. Uh, another thing is, well, freely... Uh, she wouldn't want to have kids of her own because I don't really think Freely would... Freely, the changes in your body from pregnancy, would you really want that? Well, it's just another reason not to. I mean... Can you hear that? Yeah. Another reason not to. Yeah. You hear that? Freely said that's another reason not to. Changes... A lot of women don't understand the changes that happen in the female physique after pregnancy, childbirth. And there's nothing wrong with that, but a lot of people don't understand what can happen. They're not ready for that. Changes in physique, or hormones, or skin. A lot of things change, can change. So women should be aware of that. Um, and guys should be aware of that. And guys should be really aware of the fucking dangers of steroids. Sex steroids in women. Conscious head to pill. If you're a guy out there and your girl's on the pill, you really need to do some homework. You really need to fucking look in the mirror. And you really need to sit down to your girl and say, look, I just, I just spent an hour on Google. This shit's wrong, man. Let's get you off this shit. Let's get you off it. Post your comments down below. We'll see you next video. Write some comments down below. Let us know what you fucking think.